I have decided to report on a recent tragedy, the death of Tyree Sampson, on March 24th, 2022. Tyree Sampson was a 14-year-old boy from St. Louis, Missouri, who died while riding the Orlando Freefall Ride, a drop tower attraction at Icon Park in Orlando, Florida. Marketed as the highest ride of its kind, the tower, currently closed in the wake of the accident, stands a staggering 430 feet. By comparison, the park's Ferris wheel, touted since 2015 as one of the world's largest, is slightly shorter, at 400 feet. The Orlando Freefall was new at the time of Tyree's death, having been opened during the holiday season of 2021. It operated smoothly in its first few months, until that fateful March night when Tyree climbed aboard, telling neighboring passengers to tell his parents that he loved them if he didn't, quote, make it down, as he sensed something was wrong the instant the ride vehicle took off. The ride vehicle seemed to be in working order as it reached the tower's apex, but as it made its descent about five seconds into the 75 mile per hour drop about halfway down the tower, Tyree was flung out of his seat and plummeted to the brick floor below, landing near the tower's base. Tyree lay on his front. Passers-by initially thought he was a detached piece of the ride. Blood pooled around him. His limbs appeared broken. CPR was impossible because he was face down. The moment was captured on video, which I have seen but don't intend to show and spread out of respect for Tyree's grieving family. His father, Yarnell, who found the video via Facebook, said his life stopped when he saw it. Immediately after the accident occurred, the other riders begged to be let off the ride once back at ground level. Panic ensued. A woman cried for someone to call an ambulance. A ride operator asked her co-workers if they'd check Tyree's restraints, to which they replied they had. Deputies were called at around 11 p.m., and Tyree was taken to a hospital where he succumbed to his injuries and died. The Orange County Sheriff's Department is investigating the accident, with Sheriff John Mina saying that it appears to be a terrible tragedy, citing no indication that Tyree's death was intentional. It's unclear what went wrong on the ride, the tower passed a safety inspection in December 2021 by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services before it was allowed to open. Notably, the ride doesn't have seat belts, but it does have a large restraining device that locks over riders' shoulders. It has a mechanism that prevents it from launching if a passenger's restraints aren't fully fastened as well. John Stein, sales and marketing director of the Slingshot Group, which operates the ride, said that Tyree was secured in his seat, though a woman on a 911 call claimed otherwise. There is some question of whether Tyree exceeded a safe weight and or height for riding, and if this had anything to do with his death. He was a football player of greater than average build, standing 6 foot 5 and weighing over 300 pounds, but ride operators allowed Tyree to ride without concern. The loss of a young man with a promising future is deeply tragic, and I extend my deepest sympathies to Tyree's father and all his family and friends who are currently grieving. Yarnell Sampson described his son as a very good young man, a big teddy bear, a gentle giant, and kind-hearted. He had dreams of a professional football career that would enable him to one day buy his mother a house, and his stepmother, Wendy Wooten, said he was on his way to achieving this goal, with many scouts looking at him. He was in Orlando with a training camp that had gone on a trip and was preparing to play high school football at either Cardinal Ritter College Prep or East St. Louis High School. Sadly, he will never be able to pursue his dreams, but he will live on forever in the hearts and minds of his family and friends who love him dearly. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video raises awareness of the importance of proper safety for theme park attractions, and I hope the investigation finds answers as to what exactly happened to cause Tyree's death and how it can be prevented in the future. 
The purpose of this channel has always been to educate as well as entertain, to cover horror stories both fictional and real so that we may learn from them. May Tyree Sampson rest in peace. Certainly, he was gone much too soon.